welcome to every movie I've ever seen. Uh, today, the movie that I'm going to be talking about is The Happening. Uh, this was supposedly directed by M. Night Shyamalan and stars people who resemble Mark Wahlberg, Zoe Deschanel, and John Leguizamo. I'll just be blunt right off the bat. This was not a good movie. You know, I went into this movie wanting to give it a fair chance because I am, you know, somewhat a fan of M. Night Shyamalan and his mythology of films. Uh, I have not seen Sixth Sense. I like Signs. I think Signs is a very good movie. I like Split. I think Split is a very good movie. Uh, you know, I, I would say Glass and Unbreakable were, you know, they were good. I, I, I did like I did maybe like Glass a little bit more than Unbreakable. Maybe that kind of even. I'm not a big Bruce Willis fan. And that character... The character doesn't bring anything in Glass. He brings a little bit in, uh, in Unbreakable. So it's kind of tough to say if, like, McAvoy in Glass is enough to cancel out... Bruce Willis in Glass, and then maybe you're just left with Glass himself, Samuel L. Jackson. So, and I have seen Avatar: The Last Airbender, which, or just no, just The Last Airbender. Also, not a good movie. Uh, and The Village, I I did like The Village. I think that's a a uh, kind of underrated film, maybe a little underappreciated. I think a lot of people were going into that movie maybe expecting a horror movie. I did not have any ex uh, expectations of what the movie was going to be when I first when I first came into it. So I guess that's kind of why I was able to enjoy it a little bit. And plus, Joaquin Phoenix and Bryce Ho Dallas Howard and the you know the rest of the cast is very good in that movie. But this movie, The Happening. Like I said, it's just plain not good. Uh, I suppose this was Shyamalan's attempt to make a end of the world disaster movie, although didn't really fit or work. Because you can see like the disaster, the modern disaster movie quote tropes. Uh, you know, the, the, there's the crazy person living in. You know, living in isolation by themselves, and they got theories. It feels like, what is it, uh, 2012? It's Woody Harrelson, War of the Worlds, movie I was thinking of, War of the Worlds, Tom Cruise. He, they go meet the guy who's living in the basement and is trying to dig tunnels, and he's crazy, and so Tom Cruise kills him while his daughter is sitting in the other room. But this... I don't know, the acting is just really bad. I, I was thinking to myself that this, this movie exists in the universe where the invasion of the Body Snatchers was a success because no one in this movie speaks or, you know, acts like a real human. It's... It's just extremely awkward and off, and the dialogue really doesn't work or flow. There's like, there's like one guy he's talking about hot dogs, and it's just like a random stream of thought, you know? Like, I packed hot dogs for the road. Do you like hot dogs? Hot dogs get a bad rap. They got a cool shape. They fit in a bun. You know what? I think I know what's causing this. I think it's the plants. And that's like... Who... It's just, the writing is not very good at all. There were two, like, random characters that get introduced, like, like two random kids that get introduced and then get killed by a random guy in a house with a shotgun. That felt a little odd. And then John Leguizamo's character just sort of dies. You know, he's got this whole thing, and he hops in a jeep like, one of the jeeps from Jurassic Park, and he just he just keels over, I think. Or well, no, he he like slices his wrist with a piece of glass and just dies. And his character is never thought of or mentioned again. It's just you know they needed to 
kill him off so that Mark Wahlberg and Zoe Deschanel can adopt his orphaned daughter. That reminds me of, uh, what is it, Ocean Rising. Talked about that movie. That would be an interesting movie to talk about here. Boy. Uh, yeah, so John Lucas now just kind of dies. And then they, then they adopt his daughter. I don't know how legal that is. They call him, the daughter calls Zoe Deschanel auntie. So maybe they're maybe Zoe Deschanel and John Leguizamo are brother and sister. That's not established. That seemed kind of the whole relationship between the three of them seemed a little un, unclear because you know Mark Wahlberg apparently teaches Spanish and Leguizamo teaches math. I think. So it was that just dies and it's never brought up again. It doesn't seem like it's all that important. Uh, I didn't notice Shyamalan in this. I'm sure he's in it. I suppose his cameo in this isn't as jarring as it might have been in other uh, Shyamalan films. You know, in Signs, he's a major character and part of this story. Which, again, I like Signs. And, you know, he was fine as Roy. Ray, Nettie, the veterinarian. Uh, actually, now that I think about it, I don't remember seeing him in uh, in Glass either. I don't know. I'll have to look back up and see if see if uh, I'm sure he does have cameos in these. At least I'm sure he has a cameo in The Happening. Maybe he didn't have maybe he didn't have a cameo in Glass. But yeah. I'm curious as what Shyamalan might do next, because I don't, I don't know if Unbreak, I don't know if Glass was as a hit as he maybe hoped it would have been, f following the big hit that was Split. He, I think he was hoping to, uh, hoping to profit off of Split's success a little bit with this sequel, but it maybe didn't work for him as much. So I would be curious to see what he might have up his sleeve next. But for this one, not not good. I didn't care for. I mean, the whole plants killing things. That's that's fine. It's this, you know, it's a loose, be nice to nature message, which you see a lot in movies. But I didn't like how the plants are doing it almost like sentient. You know, if it was just plants, and you know they're evolving or whatever, and they're released and they're releasing a toxin that's affecting us, that would be one thing. But the plants seem to be, like, thinking about it. Like, you know what? These humans have been messing with us. We're going to shoot out some poison in this northeastern town and kill everybody, and that'll be a warning. And if, if they don't listen to our warning, we'll do it again. Uh, and I don't know. I can't... I guess there's suspension of disbelief, and that just doesn't... That's one of the places where I draw my line, I suppose. Sentient plants. And you can't make... He wants to make, like, an end-of-the-world movie, but you can't make plants killing people exciting because it's just the wind of rustling trees and grass. and It's probably, like, the least exciting thing you could do in a movie. But, uh, yeah. That's, that's all I got to say about the happening.